Hey, Kevin, what do you have there? Well, I have a piece of uh, mild steel, half inch by half inch square tubing. Uh, looks to be about a eighth of a wall, I think, eighth of an inch wall, or 0.125. And I got a, had a question the other day, guy wanted to know, I know you can bend round pipe, but can you bend square tubing? Well, yes, you can, if you have the right tool. Most of the time when you get a pipe bender or like a pipe roller or a tubing roller or something like that, you get dies that are shaped like this to take a piece of pipe in it. The reason they're shaped this way is so when you're trying to roll a piece of pipe, this uh, upper edge of the die is going to help hold the sides of the pipe and keep them from kinking. So with square tubing, you need a square die. And it's in all three positions on this roller anyways, you know, both the, the idler wheels and the actual drive wheel that moves when you turn the handle. And it performs the same function. It keeps the sides of the tubing from kinking as you start to roll it, start to shape it. But why does it kink? You want to take that piece of square tubing or, or round pipe, whatever you happen to have, and you want to bend that thing into a nice shape like that. Well, you have to remember, you're not bending it from the bottom or the top. You're actually bending it from the middle. And you're thinking, what? Wait a minute, say that again. You want to bend that whole thing like that. You want to move that whole piece of pipe that way. The pipe on the top of the arch has to get longer. The pipe on the bottom of the arch has to get shorter. So you're actually bending right from the middle. And that's where the kink comes in. So just as another way to look at it, if your pipe is too small for the die that you have, when you try to bend that thing, the sides, as you're trying to bend it, are going to want to bulge outwards as you're trying to stretch the top and shrink the bottom at the same time. So we got some square dies in my old, uh, this is a Harbor Freight, you know, pipe roller as opposed to a pipe bender. Just put the square dies in it and let me just show you real quick that, oh yeah, you can actually do that. There, well, this is the adjustment screw for this drive roller. I'm going to force that drive roller down in between the two idler rollers, and that's going to give me my bend. I suppose you could use this like a bender instead of a roller, simply by finding the spot you want your, your bend in, and just don't turn the wheel. You can just sit here and crank this thing down. That wheel will go down and put a bend in it for you. And you can see what happened right here. You know, it did put a, you know, uh, it did start to put a nice little bend in it. It was trying to bulge out just a little bit right at the top, right there, and right there. So now that I showed you that side of it, let me just put it back in and I'll put a roll in it instead. And really one of the biggest secrets is, don't get in a hurry. See, so you can do it. You got the right machine, right size dies for what you're doing, a little bit of muscle, easy enough to do. So hopefully that'll help you turn one of these into one of those and help you get your job done. I do appreciate you watching. Why don't you hit that subscribe button for me and I'll see you next time. Hey, Kevin, is that your magic wand? Hey, this is a G-rated channel, so let's not get started with any of that nonsense, okay? <laughs>